Hi, I'm Vibrine Summers and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stirring Astrology where I give you my textured take on the world of astrology. So welcome back to episode 6 of my North Node series. So I'm focusing on Virgo today. So with the North Node in Virgo, that means the South Node is in Pisces. So in previous lifetimes, you may have been somebody who escaped from the world and one could see that positively or negatively. You could be somebody who was really aware of your spiritual journey and immersed yourself in the world of convents or monasteries where you were giving deep contemplation for your spiritual life and also about dissolving your ego because obviously with Pisces, the ruler being Neptune, it's about removing boundaries and barriers that uh, would keep you from understanding your higher self but also connecting with wider humanity. The negative side of that could be around you're somebody who actually avoided life through drinking and drugs, um, cutting yourself off from the world without any rationalisation beyond the fact that you didn't actually want to deal with the world. There was a fear and an insecurity of actually showing up in a way where you could be counted on. So um, you've got some Achilles heels here because there is this uh, theme or an element or an energy that you emit in the world which is around victim consciousness. Always thinking actually that if people aren't paying you or giving you this compassionate sense of um, connection then you've got a fear that people will take advantage of you which is an indication that you, you haven't cultivated your own strong personality and identity where you've been able to articulate what it is that you need. Alongside this you've got this this paranoia that goes on thinking that you know um, it's for other people to deal with your insecurities, it's for other people to assuage your fears and, and paranoia and actually nobody should have that responsibility, nobody should have your projections in that area, that is for you to really take on board. So with the South Node it really is about the severance or the transformation of the victim mentality into the victor mentality. Which leads us to look at um, the North Node in Virgo. So here is a real strong call for you to create order out of chaos and to actually take risks in spite of your fears and also serving other people in a way that's going to be meaningful to them. So with North Node in Virgo, there's very much this element of service. You are here to serve humanity, but you need to be able to understand how to serve yourself first. Whereas with Pisces South Node, it was this complete uh, selflessness. You can bring an element of that as you're creating order for your world and other people. So it's got to be meaningful because we have Virgo, which is very much about discernment, hence the, you know, trying to create order out of chaos. And it's ruled by Mercury. So it's about having um, a panoramic view of something as well as knowing what the details are. So in terms of talents and careers, you're really looking for um, ones that will really enable you to um, implement your healing qualities, your healing energy. So anything in the world of, you know, medical world, you know, a doctor, a nurse, a, a dentist, a psychologist, psych psychotherapist, um, counsellor, could also be somebody who works on the body in a physical way. Um, because, you know, Virgo naturally rules the sixth house, which is associated with health and well-being. But don't go into careers where you're solely relying on the spiritual dimension and the reason being is because in this lifetime you can integrate spirituality but you, your focus really is about how do you remain grounded in the nitty gritties of life. You know Virgo is very much about doing the practicalities, what can you do to serve other people. So the affirmation that runs alongside this um, particular signature with the North Node in Virgo is in this lifetime this is not a victim-led lifetime. Now somebody who really does embody very powerfully this North Node in Virgo is Malala Yu Sabsai. Now she came to international prominence about seven years ago when she 
actually survived an assassination attack. She was shot um, by the Taliban in Pakistan and she is, and she was then and she is very much now, um, this universal human rights advocate for uh, female education. So here's somebody who, you know, from a young child, she was advocating for the rights of, of children, uh, you know, girls and uh, women to be educated. After the assassination attempt, she could have gone into the victim mode, which meant that she could have resided within her south node in Pisces. But actually, she stepped even more so into her identity as this human rights campaigner. And at the age of 17, she is, to date, the youngest person to actually receive the Nobel Peace Prize. So she's a Nobel Peace Laureate at the age of 17. She's now, I think, just about 21. But she powerfully embodies this sense of how one is able to gain gravitas by stepping into the North Node, standing for something. You know, there's that great quote, stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. With a Pisces South Node, there is this sense that you could fall for anything because you're always looking for, you know, the saviour or the mentor. And actually, you are your own guru. At the time of this recording, we've got Jupiter going through Sagittarius, and that's very emblematic of you are your own guru, you have inner wisdom, and it's time for you to transmit that to the world. So that's it. This is not a victim-led lifetime. With the North Node in Virgo, it's time to be of service to yourself and other people and to take that risk even though you may fear the consequences because you never know who you could grow into, but you do in a sense, you need to be your North Node in Virgo. So that's it, beautiful people. Put your comments in the comment box below. Share this episode with other people who you think can benefit it. Benefit from it. You can like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And um, I look forward to seeing you again on the next episode. And also, if you would like a personal reading with me where we look at for example, your North Node, or we look at your triad, your Sun, your Moon, and um, your Ascendant, or we do a deep dive into any area of your life, please get in contact with me by Samuels at googlemail.com, and we'll take it from there. So until then, enjoy exploring your North Node in Virgo. Bye.